It is 648. This is your morning in eight minutes. The suspect at the center of a deadly shooting inside a Knoxville market is dead. Police say Christopher David Price took his own life after barricading himself inside his West Knoxville home. Price is accused of shooting and killing a Reese King Jr. inside Harbs Market on Friday night. Multiple law enforcement agencies tracked him down to his home on Sales Way near Pellissippi Parkway and Level Road. The Knox County Sheriff's Office says Price was walking down the street when he saw officers approaching. He then opened fire out of his garage and then took his own life. No officers are hurt. Police later found Price's body inside the home by using a drone. And right now, authorities in Blunt County need your help finding five suspects connected to a shooting that put two people in the hospital. The shooting was all caught on security camera footage. You can see a fight starting in the top left part of the video off in the distance. The shooting happens just moments after. Police are looking for the people who you see here. The victims tell police they were followed after leaving a nightclub on Alcoa Highway by the suspects in a white truck. The victims have since recovered. If you know anything about what happened, please call police. And today, KPD continuing to investigate a shooting that left a 26-year-old woman dead. Police found Jafasha Mitchell inside of a car off Louise Avenue in East Knoxville on Saturday night. She later died at the hospital. KPD calls this a homicide and spent Monday afternoon searching for evidence in the area. If if you have any information, call Crime Stoppers. New this morning, the scene is clear in White Pine after officials say a car hit a pedestrian. It happened near Rachel Drive and Parker Town Road around 930 last night. We'll keep you updated when we learn more information. And this morning, officials are working to figure out what started a house fire in Powell. It happened around 545 yesterday evening on Old Clinton Pike. When crews got there, they saw flames coming from the house. No one was home. No one is hurt. Right now, Knoxville police need your help finding whoever stole a van with a special needs stroller inside. Police say this 2006 Maroon Chrysler town and country overheated on I-40 at Strawberry Plains on Friday night around 11 o'clock. The father was driving the van. He left to go get help, but when he returned, it was gone. Inside the van was this stroller for his son. Officials say both the van and the stroller are adapted to help his special needs. Police say the son's black baseball glove given to him by a former Tennessee Smokies baseball player was also inside the van. If you have any information, if you recognize the car, contact East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers. We have their number in our WVLT News app. In developing this morning, some people in Sevier County are paying for running water, yet living without it in their homes for weeks. That's the case for at least a dozen people living on English Mountain. The East Sevier County Utility District says the wells have run dry after a lightning strike took out components on three of the four wells in the area. They tell us they ordered a new generator to use almost a year ago, but supply chain issues are slowing down the delivery. People who live on the mountain are now forced to get creative just to use the bathroom or take a shower. Luckily enough, when it comes to the toilets, we got a pond over here behind us that we got to go dig, get water out of just to flush your toilets. There's people that don't have that benefit. A to yard hydrant town, buy is water, set up. Just flush their own toilets because they can't even flush the toilet. A yard hydrant set up at the East Sevier County Utility District for people to fill up on water. Managers say the utility board may be able to work with people who've been forced to pay for water they're not getting. We're covering your health this morning. U.S. health officials expect the number of monkeypox cases to keep climbing for at least the next few weeks. The virus is in nearly every state with more than 1,800 cases reported. Six are reported here in Tennessee, all of those coming from the Nashville area. So far, none here in East Tennessee. But we spoke with the Knox County Health Department. Officials there say that doesn't mean a case won't pop up here. They do expect to see one at some point. County health officials say monkeypox is not a major concern for severe illness like COVID. Monkeypox isn't spread as easily as COVID, but it's spread through direct contact. And Dr. Anthony Fauci plans to retire by the end of President Joe Biden's current term in office. He served as the director of the National Institute for Allergy and Infectious Diseases for decades. He became a popular name during the pandemic. At 81 years old, Fauci served more than five decades under seven presidents, advising every U.S. president since Reagan. In continuing coverage, the man being hailed a hero for stopping a mass shooting at a mall in Indiana on Sunday is being identified. Eli Dickin was with his girlfriend shopping when a gunman opened fire inside the mall's food court. Three people were killed in the shooting, two others were hurt. Dickin fired at the suspect, taking him out before any more lives could be lost. Dickin legally owned his handgun, which he fired 10 times at the suspect. Police say they don't have a motive for the shooting. The gunman had no police record as an adult, but was convicted of minor crimes as a juvenile. 
Happening today, you have another chance to meet Knoxville's new police chief. Paul Noel will be at all occasions party rentals just off Middlebrook Pike. Anyone can show up to meet him. Everything gets started at 430. And if you need a job, the Postal Service is hosting a job fair at their Maryville location on Keller Lane today. They're searching for rural carrier associates and assistant rural carriers. Starting pay is $19 an hour if you're interested. And that job fair is happening from 10 this morning and goes until 1 this afternoon. And tonight you have a very slim chance to become a multimillionaire with another drawing for the Mega Millions. But there is a chance. The jackpot <laughs> sitting at just over half a billion dollars, 530 million smackaroos. The cash value, <laughs> about $304 million. If a winner is declared tonight, it would be the eighth largest jackpot on record. Tickets are just $2. Tonight's drawing is at 11 o'clock. Well, we do want to get a look at your roads this morning with Whitney. Crews are still working a multi-vehicle crash. This is on I-40 eastbound just before you get to Winfield Dunn Parkway. They were able to get one of the eastbound left lanes open. The far eastbound left lane remains blocked. If you're headed this way, you can see that slowdown heading toward the parkway. The good news is that congestion is not growing, so no need for an alternate route there. Just use caution with those crews on site. Overall, those that are safe and main roads are on time to start off your Tuesday morning. Your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Granger. 655 on this uh, Tuesday morning. Yes, we're past Monday. We can now look forward uh, to the end of the week and we're looking at some gray skies. We've got patches of fog. We've got some raindrops out there as well. You saw that from some of those cameras that uh, Whitney was showing you there. You see the gray skies over downtown Knoxville. We're at half mile range in La Follette right now. Monticello, Crossville checking in less than that. Severable is at 472 right now. Knoxville to 71 for Maryville. Where's Valley checks in at 68. Good morning to Chester. Chestnut Hill at 69. Kingston is at 73. And here's a look at the first alert live Doppler showing us that we do have many areas that are nice and dry this morning. We do have uh, this one little uh, straggly shower that continues to move right through parts of uh, Sevierville and Sevier County at this time, running down to Valley Parton Parkway towards English Mountain. And we have a little lone raindrop back out that is still left over from that storm over towards Louisville. So we're looking at the showers that we'll try to develop here through the course of the day today. Not going to rule out the possibility at any given time. We do have a shower that pops up over your neighborhood. 88 is where we're going to be. Feels more like 90. We keep that rain opportunity in the forecast for us overnight tonight as well. And in the extended forecast after that, we're going to be talking about a heat wave going into the weekend. It's going to feel more like 100. So yes. Oh, it's hard to talk about a heat wave when it already feels so hot outside. <laughs> yeah. But when you actually give us those numbers, but it's, it's getting like, even warmer. Yeah, at least you're warning us. All right, Kyle, thanks. Thanks so much for watching. We're headed on over to WBXX.